Hey everyone, today I thought I'd show you guys this 2000 Porsche Boxster S. I'll do a little walk around here. As you can see, one distinguishing factor from the normal one and the S is these red brake calipers. Uh, I think those look really good. I love the vents on the side. Keep going around the back here. Looks very like modern and like clean for being 21 years old already. Uh, but here's the back of it. I'll show you guys under the hood real quick. So to pop the hood, you just push that. And this engine is mid-mounted, so there's nothing under here. Um, it is just a front compartment, as you can see. And it's pretty big, actually, and you get a spare tire, too. So a lot of, like, uh, good storage options in here. I'll show you guys the rear trunk really quick. And to close this, you don't want to slam it. You just want to put it down like that and press it in. Show you guys the back really quick. And this lifts right up. Here's where you add your oil, and I believe that's your coolant right there, and there's how to check your oil. No engine access in this, but uh, you do get pretty good storage. This car does use a 3.2 liter flat six engine. It makes 250 horsepower and 225 pound-feet of torque. So pretty healthy number. Uh, this does have a six speed manual. If you got the regular Boxster and not the Boxster S, you only got a five speed manual. So for the S they added that extra gear as well as the bigger engine. But we'll hop in here. We'll show you guys what this car is like. In typical Porsche fashion, the ignition is on the left side and not the right side. And it starts right up as you can see. It's got a very nice interior. It looks very classy with like this kind of beige looking color scheme. Over here you get your climate controls. This is to adjust your fan speed. And this is your temperature right here. Pretty simple to use. Down here you got your radio. Uh, over here you got your traction control off. Right here this is your wiper speed. Over here you know you got your volume, your tune, typical stuff. Down here you get a bunch of different settings for the stereo. So you have hi-fi, classic, and pop. You also have room, user, and echo and they all sound a little bit different it's kind of interesting to listen to right here you have your window switches and your lockable glove box all right just to show you guys yeah that's all the space you get not very much at all and you also don't have a glove box over here but so not a whole lot of storage options these cup holders are also aftermarket so yeah like Pretty like bare bones in terms of like storage and stuff, but it's still a very nice interior. I'll start back up. You have your speedometer. Interestingly, it goes from 25 to 50 to 75. Increments of 25. I've never seen that on a speedometer before. You also have your tachometer, uh, your engine temperature, and your fuel level right here. Uh, pretty good stuff. This Boxster S does have 73,000 miles on it. Over here, you have your headlight controls. You have your turn signals, your wiper controls, and your cruise control right here. I'll show you guys the shifter. Um, so it's a pretty like uh, slick shifter. Uh, the throws could be like a little bit shorter maybe, but it's still a very like smooth action. Uh, feels very like premium, very like sports car like. You also get a reverse if you go like all the way over and up. That's how you access reverse. But uh, we'll put it in first here, we'll set off. Um, I'll probably put the convertible top up a little bit later. But just for right now, I'll leave it down just to give you guys a sense of what it's like when it's down. Very peppy, peppy car for sure. Love driving this thing. It's got nice firm steering. And it's very responsive too. I just love that. Very easy manual to drive when you get used to it. Just loves the speed. Um, right, right away you can kind of tell this car loves to get up and go. So.
So I'm gonna pull over here and I'm gonna put the convertible top up just for video purposes. I don't know if the wind is like interfering at all, but to do that, you just push this button right here and it goes up in only like a couple of seconds. It's pretty amazing, uh, pretty easy to do. And you just latch it into place with this little thing. And there we go, it's up. So we'll get moving again here. I love how smooth this manual transmission is. I say the clutch point is about normal. It's about halfway into the clutch travel where the car starts to move forward. And it's a very easy going clutch. It's not like too sensitive or anything like that. Uh, it's just very simple to use. I'm just kind of rowing through the gears and it's very easy going. It's very fun, like shifting your own gears. Always love driving manual cars. This engine has such a smooth power band to it. Just loves to be revved out. And these brakes are so smooth when you're slowing down. Uh, they just get you right down. And there's a cop in front of me, so I should probably stop doing things like that. Very easy to shift your own gears in this thing. It's a little bit loud in here, but you'd expect that for like a convertible. Um, but it's not bad either. It's not like it's super loud. Honestly, I think they did a pretty good job with the sound isolation in this. I'm really not having any issues with like the noise coming in. Um, it all sounds fairly normal to me. Maybe a little bit louder than your average car, but really not bad. Um, I also love the sound of this flat six. After this cop turns, I'll try to get on it a little bit here to let you guys hear how it sounds. I'm gonna put it in fourth. We're gonna try, put it in third actually. Just has such a nice growl to it. Just love it. Handling of this car is super good. I love how darty the steering is. It kind of reminds me of like a little go-kart or something like that, but like a premium feeling go-kart. This thing has a smooth ride too for a two-door. Uh, convertible Porsche sports car. It has a very respectable ride to it. Um, really can't complain. It's just gliding down the road. It's just a car that loves to be driven fast. Cornering very sharp like it's on rails as you'd expect. A lot of fun to drive. Brakes have a very good feel to them. They feel very powerful when they slow the car down. Um, just really like the brakes. Very easy clutch action. The accelerator in this, it has a good feel to it. It, it feels like pretty responsive. Uh, gives you a good sense of what the engine is doing. It feels decently connected. I do think um, there are times when it feels a little bit vague for my taste. I'm gonna have to do a little U-turn. Do a little acceleration run here. Very good. Gets up and goes with a nice smooth power band. Very fun ringing this engine out. All right, guys, is the next day. Got a little bit dark in my previous video, but uh, I'm going to continue driving this Porsche Boxer S and uh, continue to give you guys my thoughts on this car. 
I have great visibility in here. I can see right onto the road in front of me. I have big side mirrors over here and I get uh, a good view out of the back, although the uh, convertible top, the back window is a little bit like hard to see out of. Like I said, very easy to drive manual. Clutch engages nice and easy. Accelerator feels nice and responsive, pretty easy to control your RPMs. I love the steering, it has like good communication. First gear isn't very long. I don't know what the word for that is. I guess it's like a shorter gear. It doesn't have a whole lot of low end torque, but it's a very smooth power band. And once you cross over like uh, 2500, this car just like whips right up to speed without any real issues. Once you go through all the other gears, this thing really hustles, definitely. Corners like it's on rails. Brakes feel very good. They stop the car very smoothly. Just a lot of fun driving this car. Love how strong these brakes are. They just feel really good. Handling just great. Definitely like it a lot. Steering, very responsive. Very smooth and very responsive. It's got like, like I said, a bit of a go-karty feel, but it's also very refined and very smooth and how the car tracks around corners. So I definitely like it. Uh, it's got a nice blend of like luxuriousness and sportiness to it. But we're gonna try this other corner right here. Very fun whipping it around. we do have an open road in front of us so we can try out some more corners and just see what it's like yeah it just loves to be tossed around they did a really good job with this car uh, perfectly balanced I would say I'm also impressed with the ride quality. This thing has such a smooth ride. Um, if you do hit a pothole, you kind of feel it a little bit, but other than that, when you're just driving down like a normal everyday road, uh, the ride feels very smooth and very luxurious. So I definitely like the ride quality in this. There's some rattles coming in from the um, from the convertible top, but no big deal. We are going to take it on the highway here. right 
up and goes. Put it in six. Revs a little bit high in six gear, uh, around like 3,000 RPM at highway speeds. Fairly good though, I mean it's respectable. Very nice highway ride, it feels like pretty smooth. Um, a little bit loud, but no big deal. I mean, this is a two-door sports car, kind of expected it to be a little bit loud. But we're gonna take this exit here and I'm gonna get back on the highway going the other way. Test out the brakes really quick. Yeah, they're pretty responsive. They stop the car pretty well. We're gonna get back on the highway here. passing power. We're going to try our little Cloverleaf off-ramp here. Did pretty well, felt very linear, um, really didn't feel like any body lean going around that corner, felt very assured. All right, I think I'll end the video here, you guys. Porsche Boxster S, very fun car, definitely. Liked driving it a lot. Think we will back it in right here. All right. Um, yeah, very fun car, nice firm steering, very smooth ride, surprisingly. Very flat, very grounded handling. Just overall a very nice experience, very easy six-speed manual, very nice car. I'm gonna put the top down for you guys. Show you guys what it looks like going down. All right, put the windows down. All right, thanks for watching everyone.